My husband is blind and these are some things I do around the house to help him out. Paul. Yes? Get over here. Where are you? Right here. <laughs> Hi. Okay, tell everyone how much you can see. So I've lost 90% of my vision. I have retinitis pigmentosa. It's a rare genetic eye disease, which means that I am continuing to go blind. I was born with it, but it didn't become apparent to me until I was in my early teens and I wasn't actually diagnosed until I was 16. Are you still with me, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> Make this brief. <laughs> retinitis pigmentosa, it affects your night vision first. That means the ability to see in low light. And then peripheral vision is what sort of is the next to go. So I have like extreme tunnel vision today. I kind of describe it like looking through a straw while you're wearing sunglasses that have been smudged with Vaseline. When I met you, I had lost most of my vision. We've been together for how many years now, Matthew? Six. I'm testing you. Six and a half. Seven. Almost seven. So Almost seven. We'll go with six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and today I have 10% of my vision approximately left and it's just in the center though. There's lots of ways in which you have adapted and helped me around the house. Yeah, for example, one is right next to you. Whoa, show us. Down on the stove. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Yeah, what are these? Oh, where'd they go? Oh, there's the, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I feel like so we've lost a couple. So that is a little raised, can you see that? Come on, focus. There it is. That is a little raised rubbery dot that's on the start button so Paul can find that. In fact, the cancel dot came off. Yeah, the cancel dot came off. Should we go put that on? Preferably, I would like all of these to be dotted. We need the whole panel because how am I supposed to differentiate this right now? Here, let's do it. You hold this. I'm not sure That's if we have mouthful. that many that match. Uh-oh. Well, do they have to match? Well, you know, it'd be really easy. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no four more. I just thought of a solution. What? Well, it could be every other one because all I need to know is where one is. And then if there's a gap between one and three, oh. well, then I know that's two. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. Okay, so here's six. Five of them. Six, eight, and zero, or do you want me to do in between them like seven and nine? Okay, let me so just go feel that. Where is my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Touched here, your here, you take this. No. How okay. Was, was that a good, pretty good videography from a blind guy? Well, I'll have to review the footage. <laughs> okay, Look at so. This dirty stove top. Oh, it definitely has to be one. Okay. Uh, one. Where's one? Yeah, because I'll have to, I would feel, and I, as soon as I hit one, I want to know, like, that's, that's yeah. where it is. Okay, so you uh, can find two, one. Three, four, we have five. Maple, eight. what do you think about this, Maple? This is my guide dog, Mr. Maple. Hi, baby. You want to help daddy? Oh, he wants to eat this. <laughs> no, there's oh, something to eat. Maple. Don't you eat that. Okay. <laughs> Go get your bone. Go get your bone. Okay, where are you? Okay, here. Take that again. So tell me a temperature to put in. 375. Okay. Three, seven, five. Start. Oh. Yeah, very nice. What are you cooking? Were you expecting food okay. to be part of this demonstration? I am very, very hungry. I have only had a smoothie <sighs> and it is already... Hey, that's a really good example of another thing you did for me. One of the things that Matthew figured out for me, which was one of the most mind-blowing things that I didn't even know about myself, is that contrast is so important. In fact, we were getting a gym membership together. Yeah. We toured like four different gyms and mm -hmm. you rejected several of them because there wasn't enough contrast. The carpets were gray yeah. and the machines were gray. You're going to bash your shins up yep. and it's happened. I have some, some scars on my shins. Look at those, that is gross. Hey! Oh, wow. You know, warning. <laughs> Your discretion advice. So I didn't really realize that contrast was so important to me before, but Matthew realized it. I realized very quickly that I need white on a black background. That's much easier for my eyes. And now one of the only ways I can uh, read books still is with a uh, large font, um, black background, white text. This would be the other big one. Ooh, Ooh dishwashers. You always remember to keep this closed. You go flying over this. I have literally flown over, even broken off one of these what? in my life. Oh, trust me. I have this. Were you to were you running? <laughs> I know you give me a really hard time. I do like to run through spaces sometimes. You go way too fast for a blind man. Oh, and this cupboard door. Yeah. Oh yeah, I ripped this cupboard door off. Look at the metal plates that had to be installed. Cause you just like <laughs> tore that a new one. Now they're Paul proof. Sorry, yeah, cupboard different. doors, dishwashers. Yeah. Oh, here's another good little tip that you helped with. What? Oh, your water bottle. It's over here. Here's your water bottle. Okay, so why do I use the water bottle? Cause you spill. I am known for spilling. We have these cups here. Clear cups that are way too easy to get knocked over. Matthew, what is something else you do, or rather don't do? Yeah. Right there, I do not put a glass in the middle of the counter because that's invisible to you. Well, I mean, most things are, but yeah, that's totally invisible. I have like set so many things sailing, just kind of like washing, I'll be washing the counters or something. And 
glasses will fly off. I prefer it if you like hide them close to larger objects. Oh, you always like tuck it by the paper towel holder. That's one of my favorite spots. Yeah, because you're going to hit the paper towel holder before well, you, you know hit why? the glass. This is like a beacon. It's again, it's that contrast. It's I love the, all the lint the rollers the out here. Yeah, we may live with a, a dog that sheds a lot. <laughs> why two? So, so his and his? Yeah, his and his lint rollers. <laughs> okay, what's one other thing you do? Oh, I do this. Here, come over here. Where? I'm right down here. Okay. I will always take you right here uh -huh. and I'll do this. Oh, <laughs> that's what you do. I have to help a blind guy out. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Paul. We are an interabled couple. That means that one of us has a disability and the other does not. I have a rare eye disease and Matthew is fully sighted. We may do things a little bit differently, but we are just like everyone else. Yeah, one of the cool things about our relationship is even though Paul has only 10% of his sight, we make accommodations for each other. I help him out, but he also helps me out a lot. Paul has a whole lot of strengths that really benefit me in the relationship, and we'll talk about those. Yeah, so we have been creating content for, gosh, has it been like three years together now on Instagram, TikTok, and a weekly podcast called His and His. And here we are doing our first ever YouTube video, something we've wanted to do for a very long time. Okay, Matthew, you do a lot of really great things around the house to accommodate, but Thank I you. do have a little bone to pick with you. Something may have happened <laughs> that I need to discuss, and it may have happened during a fight. Yes, that's all I'm going to say. You may have had a big fight. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about here? I think so. Okay, but you, I don't know if you know exactly. It was exactly. an epic fail. <laughs> We're gonna discuss that and some other things on today's extended episode. If you would like to access the extended episodes, you can tap the link in the description and head over to Patreon where you can unlock all of our extended content. Patreon.com slash his and his. Okay, Matthew, are you ready to hear? Yeah, so we were fighting. As we do. Regularly. Every day.